You know what? This has been such an amazing evening because of you. It's all about you guys tonight, but it's our honor and our privilege to say thank you. And we feel so appreciative of you. We, we just love you all. This ministry wouldn't be where it is right now today if it was not for all of you. We truly mean that. I mean, we started from the beginning. We had a lot of um, people who served, but this is overwhelming for us. So... <laughs> Um, what, look what the Lord has done. Yeah. 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 says, uh, well, I'll come and hang out. I'll come and help you because you probably won't have many ushers at first service. So, 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 so I'll come and help you. Him and his wife came. He never left. Allow me to just share about five or eight minutes so worth of stuff here. Just on behalf of myself and my wife, perhaps really plotting out here in faith with us in the All of the pastors, all of the campuses, uh, just ministry could never happen without the faithful service of somebody. Now, now look around, okay? Now, from my estimation, get rid of this thing, we please. <laughs> set up the coffee and all the delicious little desserts in the little cups. <laughs> Those of you that, that lead worship, all of the ministry that you do is important because it is changing lives. Amen. It's wonderful that we come together and we're experiencing this great time and we're celebrating each other. But listen to me, every one of you not only represents your life that was changed, but it represents those that you're touching every time that you serve. And listen, that's one of the defining marks of true membership here at New Beginnings is servanthood. We believe very strongly that a true follower of Christ will reflect his servant's heart. Jesus himself said, I'm among you as one who serves. 
We're never more like him than when we're serving others. In fact, when we serve others, we serve God. Amen. And as much as, you know, he said, as much as you've done it unto these, at least my brother, you've done it unto me. By serving, you fulfill God's purpose for your life. God created you and I with a specific purpose and ministry in mind. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10 says, For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Now that, that word workmanship in the Greek word, the Greek word is what is a word that's used for poetry, for masterpiece, for a custom crafted work of art. And that's who each and every one of you are. And you're walking in that every time that you, you leave your house, you come to one of the campuses, you take the time to serve. God's design for you began when you were born. Psalm 139, verse 13 says, You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in your mother's womb, in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous, and how well I know you. God has an eternal purpose and a plan for your life, but understand this. It will always involve some form of service to someone else Amen. besides yourself. Amen. Amen. Always. Always. Every one of you here tonight has been a shining example of the love of Jesus in action. Every time you put yourself out, you put your, yourself, your needs aside, every time you come to serve in some form or fashion here at church, you're illustrating the love of God that's been shed abroad in your hearts by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you for all that you do that enables us to reach one more person for Jesus. Thank you for serving with such an unselfish attitude. Thank you for always operating in a spirit of excellence. And that's one thing that's said constantly about our team. And we have guest ministers that come here that are always saying the same thing. We rarely see the spirit of excellence Amen. like we see when we come to you. You guys do. You guys do. You have our esteem. You have our appreciation. We're blessed to have you working side by side with us, whether it's here in Brick, at Bagel, at Wall, at the Spanish Ministry, wherever it's been on. Amen. 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 May the blessings that God has promised to his servants rest upon your lives. May his grace continue to strengthen you and empower you in all that you do. Most of all, may you reap abundantly in accordance with all that you sow in the ministry here at New Beginnings. And someday, we will all stand before the head of the church, the Lord Jesus himself, Amen. and we will hear him say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his face toward you and give you peace. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you.